going on guys welcome to today's video in today's video we're going to be making basic aggro.io so it's going to look something like this so like there's food it's like you eat and then you grow up so this this is a really easy tutorial don't think it's too advanced or anything or too easy it's it's probably in the medium size i'm pretty sure i mean it'll be kind of easy for a lot of people but let's just see if you can figure it out okay now to start off you want to click a new project and create it but first when you create it you'll see a cat a cat okay which says sprite one delete that all out, out and then before again like we do the sprite thing search up graph paper yeah graph paper you want to search that up go to images for for agro.io you need a graph paper so like so it looks like real agro.io so if you guys go over here you can click on that or you can and right click on it and then you'll see these stuff like open link in new tab open link in new window open link in incognito window and stuff like that but if you guys see this it says save image as i want to click on that and it says you can save it as whatever you want it's like yeah, for example, like whatever graph paper you just chose. So, yeah, like after you chose it, go back over here, click upload sprite, and then you want to upload the graph paper that you just found. So, yeah, like graph paper. The graph paper, I already got one. So, yeah. So here's the grass paper, but we want it to be really big, okay? So like, it looks like we're actually playing aggro.io on a big graph paper. So to do that, it's just really easy. All I have to do is like 999, and then kaboom. But it can't grow any larger than 189. I'm like, what? I typed in 999. Why didn't it work? So let me tell you the exact reason why. Scratch has a size limit. That's why you can. So in terms of size. This graph paper is pretty huge, so it can't be made any larger. But we can solve this problem by going into costumes and we can click on paint a new sprite, go to your brush tool, and paint a small dot in the middle. And like that. And go back to your costumes. Now to make it bigger, you can add when the green flag is clicked, switch costume to like the dot costume. Let's just name them so you know what is what. So okay, you know what? I'll just call it size hack. So switch costume to size hack, and you want to set it to a really large size, like eight hundred. <laughs> And add a, no, I said 8,000, sorry. 800. And then you, you want to switch costume back to like your graph paper. So now, now we have such a big graph paper. So let me tell you how this happened. Since our dot over here is pretty small in terms of size, the dot can be made really large. So, all we, so that's what we did. So. We just set set size to 800%. So then it grows up. But once when it grows up, we switch it towards the graph paper, which will make the graph paper look big. So yeah. Now, like here, before we create the player, let me tell you something. We don't want the player to move. We just want the player to stay at, at its own place. Because that's what we that's what we want this thing to do. We don't want it to move. We want the backdrop to move. Because if the player would have been moved, it just would have been hit here and go like, ow, 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 I can't move anymore. So, so like you can see your sprites. That's why Scratch programmed them like not to go towards the edge. So to fix that problem, all we have to do is we need to make the background move. And to do that, add a forever loop, go to motion, add a change X by and change Y by. So it's right here. Change X by something, change Y by something. So instead of writing at something, you can add a mouse X block. Change 
x by mouse x, change y by mouse y. Or you can do it however you want. But this is the way I know how to do it. So yeah, but now it seems to be going really fast. But first, let me also like make it go to like a direction where you can see it, like zero, zero, I guess. And um Yep. Now it seems that it's going really fast. So we we can fix this problem by going into operators. Um yeah, by going into operators. So we need to multiply the mouse x and the mouse y by really small numbers. So it slows down. So do that grab two multiplication operators, right? Multiplied by negative 0 0.02 or whatever. I'll just say negative 0.0. Stop. Negative 0.0. Add a mouse x and add the mouse x and the mouse y onto the left side. And all you have to do is attach them back where they belong. Whoops. So it's probably like going to go towards your mouse pointer. So now, if you see, it's going really slowly. And that's what we want. So now we can move on to creating the player. So I just want to click on paint. Now to paint this, all you have to do is you can draw a circle for the player. I guess that's enough. Yep. And also another tip to draw a perfect circle is to hold the shift key and then you can draw a perfect ones. So to start off, we want, we want Ecker.io to get bigger, right? Because in the Ecker.io game, when the your player eats the food, so like when your player eats the food, he grows. But at the beginning of the game, he becomes small, while ours is super large. So to do that, all we have to do is add a when the green flag is clicked, add a set size to a block. But instead of 100, set it to like 50. That's okay. Yep, 50 is a nice size to begin with. So 50, I figured out the 50 is the right size. And then, um, you know what? The, we can we need to code the last last rest later. I mean because we need the sprite. We need the food here. So to paint the sprite, to paint the food, all I have to do is draw a small circle. It'll be much smaller than these, and I'll set the size to like twenty. So it's kind of small. Not twenty. Twenty. Yep. So yeah, the food will be right there. So yeah, after that's done, we can add a. Here we can add when the green flag is clicked. We're gonna make a hide because we're gonna create clones of it. So when I add a hide block, go to forever, grab a forever loop, and add a create clone of myself. And also add a wait one seconds before you after you add a create clone of myself like this. So like it actually waits for some time and then creates clone. So now if we see, it might work. Huh? Oh yeah, because we said hide. We never added the show box. So I just added when the when I start as a clone, then you show. So yeah. Okay, now it seems like you can't really eat them. Like you're just on your screen following it. So we can't fix this problem. But the way we can, but we can actually fi fix this if, by going to the graph paper. And if you see this code, you want to take it. Because we're going to copy this and paste it. To do that, you want to grab it, grab this block, and drag it. Put it right near your food sprite, and then, and then you can put it back. Now, if you look at your food sprite, this thing comes down. So yeah, the forever loop. So all we have to do is add the forever loop over here, and then if you go here, add an if then statement. Right, if touching player. Or whatever, or whatever your sprite is called. Let me just clean them up. You can just click. Then you want it to delete itself. But let's add a wait block again. So the food waits before it. Like the food waits. Like what happens is when you, if we just delete the clone, like when the your player touches it, then your player won't grow up because you're just deleting when it touches it. So it's really hard to get at least one point. So to fix that, add. A, Wait block and then if you go here you can add the delete this clone and then 
after this if we go to we can also add like a change color effect to make it look like it's fun like just to make it fun i'm gonna add a color effect you can do that too so now if we see now yeah it's working out great but the thing is that the player is not growing up because we never coded him so we're gonna add a forever loop add an if then statement add an if touching food block i mean there says mouse pointer but if you go down you'll see food so on the food then um uh well wait what's the block yeah if you go to looks you find the change size by 10. you can change it by whatever amount you want and for a sound effect you can go to sounds, click on choose a sound, and then you can choose whatever sound you want. So, now if we look, I'm at work. Let's see. Yeah, but he thinks he, he's growing so fast. So, to stop that from happening, duplicate the way until that block. Go to control, grab the wait until. And if you go to operators, you'll see this block which says not. Do that so he only grows once now if you see yeah now it's working like actual agro.io so yeah that's a simple way of how you can build agro.io and and also make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching goodbye